What's going on YouTube, West Hobbies RC. So today I'm going to show you guys how to repair and fix a fiberglass cowl for an airplane. I've seen quite a few posts online of people that have smashed up their cowl for their airplane and you cannot longer buy another one or you just simply want to repair the one you got. Uh, in this case, my grandfather had an incident with his Poke Hobbies Foker DR1 and it is a very old and discontinued model. You can no longer buy this cowl. So it is pretty smashed up. And we're missing a big chunk in the front here. Busted all the way around. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay some fiberglass cloth down on the inside. Easiest way I've found, lay some fiberglass cloth in these corners where the holes have been punched out of it. And then of course, once the fiberglass dries, we'll have to sand this entire thing down, lay a little bit of Bondo in the pieces that are missing, try to build this up a little bit with a couple layers of cloth, but there's nothing here. So basically what you need, you're gonna need uh, your choice of epoxy resin. I either use epoxy, which I have here, or uh, some of the West system. Today we'll be using epoxy. Some six ounce, well for this I'm using some six ounce tape. Uh, cup stuck to it, sorry. So I'm gonna use some six ounce tape for this area right here, which is where it's completely missing. And then probably just some two ounce cloth around the holes that are punched out of it. Uh, I like to dilute my resin with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Make it a little thinner. Just a little mixing cup, brush, popsicle stick, scissors to cut the fiberglass. A bigger cup once you mix your resin and your alcohol together. And I have a little bit of thin CA it's just so I can uh, hold the cowling together where it's busted out. So I know how wide it has to be, but I'll run a little bit of thin CA in this crack here just to help hold it together. But we're going to go ahead and cut to the time lapse. I'm going to set up the GoPro with the time lapse and then, you know, start laying all the fiberglass cloth in there and then get back and explain what I've done. All right, so this is where we're at. We let it dry overnight. It's still a little soft, so I went ahead and trimmed up all the excess, of course. I left it big. I'll have to go back through with a Dremel, clean this up perfectly once we're all done. Cut the excess off the side. So all the fiberglassing on the inside is done. It is strong now. I went with some heavy six ounce cloth, four layers right here, because a lot of this was missing. Uh, two layers of two ounce around the outside. Didn't uh, I went heavy for a few reasons. One, I like cowls to be super strong. And two, this aircraft needs the nose weight anyways. So, of course, a lot of this excess will be sanded off. And, you know, that's the next step. But it will add a little weight. That's okay. We need the nose weight on this thing. So I don't mind the excess weight. Uh, I tried to fill all this in here. A couple more layers of glass because all this was pretty much missing. But now we have to go through and sand it all, fill it, sand it, fill it, and uh, then prime it and paint it. But now we're going to get the sanding. So we'll cut to the time lapse of sanding and then see what it looks like after. Mondo. Uh, I have since sanded it all out, did three more coats, skim coated it, and this is where I'm at pretty happy with it there's a little bit of filling I got to do right here and a little bit down here with some skim coat some uh, pinhole filler but all in all it is ready for primer I'll just cover those little holes up you guys can uh, you can sand and fill as much as you would like I'm gonna hit it with primer and see what it looks like because uh, I'm gonna be using some filler primer so I'll be using some of uh, this stuff some rust-oleum filler primer it's a high build primer and it does fill in a lot of pinholes and small little areas so i'll hit it with this first see what it looks like if i'm happy with it then i will just go ahead and leave it but uh we're gonna you can make you can fill and prime and sand as much as you would like to make you happy uh, it's all about how much work you want to put into it how much body work i've sanded it with 80 grit to knock all the bondo down and then uh, skim coated it again and then 80 grit and skim coated it. So I think it's gonna look good. 
Uh, it's not perfect. It probably won't be 100% perfect, but it'll be a lot better than a smashed up towel than it was before. So sanding and prepping is all the work. Sand, fill, sand, fill, sand, fill until you're happy. Prime it. If you're happy with it, then go ahead and put the color on it. So I'm going to go ahead, put some primer on it, let it dry, see what it looks like, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got the coat of primer done, wet sanded it out. Definitely, it's not perfect, but it is a World War I cowling, so it is not supposed to be perfect. If it looked too good, it would not look right on the airplane. So we are ready for some white base coat. It is all back together. We're going to use some Rust-Oleum paint and primer, gloss white, some regular spray paint. We're going to put a coat of uh, base white down. And then once the white dries, I'm gonna tape this off here, I'm gonna paint all this black, make it look good. But we're gonna go get that done and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so we got the white base coat put down. Again, it's not perfect, but came out decent. Looks much better than it did when we started. We're just gonna not clear this, it'll just be base coated. Uh, you can make this as perfect and as pretty as you want. If it is nitro, this will be an electric aircraft. If it is a nitro aircraft, you have to use a 2K clear, not a Rust-Oleum 2K, a two-part clear coat. You need to, uh, you can either mix it up, spray it out of a gun. Any kind of automotive two-part clear coat will seal the paint and stop nitro from eating it. Very important. But it does look better than it did. Again, not perfect, but it'll work. So I had my wife get on her Cricut and she made me the face decals which these will just be stencils i'll be putting these on and then painting this whole surface will be taped off be painted black so when i peel the stickers off there'll be a white you know eye underneath of it that'll finish the look of the cowling and then this cowling will be done so i'm going to go ahead and here's the stencil that i had her make me a perfect tape line i'm gonna go ahead and get these taken out get those put on get this black sprayed and this cowling will be done for my grandpa and he can finish his little fucker dr1 Okay, so it is done. We laid the stencils out, we taped it off, sprayed black, peeled the stencils off. My wife made, uh, unfortunately, we did get some bleed through on the tape line. It is not perfect by any means, but again, it is a World War I airplane, so it'll look fine on the airplane. If it was a show airplane or anything, I would definitely be probably sanding it back out and redoing it, but I'm happy with it for what it is, for what it looked like in the beginning of the video, to what it looks like now. Came out great. Looks nice. Black is still drying. So here you go, Grandpa. There's your cowling. It's done. Finish the rest of the rebuild, and you can screw it back on. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps any of you. Again, if it's nitro, you need to use a two-part clear coat. There's a couple different spray can options out there. If you Google uh, eBay and Amazon, uh, look up a 2K clear. They're around $32 for two cans, I believe. But they only have like a 12-hour you know, pot life. So once you pop the little thing in the bottom, which activates the hardener, you have to use it within 12 hours or it is garbage because it does have a hardener, just like a car automotive clear coat does. There's no clear coat on this. Because it is electric, doesn't need it. But again, if you're making it nitro, you have to seal it or the nitro will eat the paint. So hopefully you guys learned a couple things and figured out how to rebuild your broken cowlings. Thank you. Have a great day.